Hey guys, I'm winding up another road trip. Hopefully the last one for the year, other than like vacation stuff. But I wanted to share a couple of things with you. When you're leaving your hotel room, I do the back to front approach, if you will, and you can call it however you want. So, you know, the door's over there. I'm actually gonna start on this side of the room, which is the far side of the room, and start working my way through the hotel room. Um, packing as I go. I've already done that, so I got my bag down here. I finally broke the Rebo Tactical Backpack. So this is a competitor to some of the bigger bougie bags. I don't have an affiliate link, but it cost me 40 bucks, and it just finally broke after seven years, so that's freaking impressive for $40 backpack. Anyway, um, go through, make sure you got everything you need, and uh, pull the drawers open, that kind of stuff. Make sure that when, by the time you hit this door, you have cleared everything behind you so that uh, you're ready to go out the door. Now, when I get to the airport, there are a couple of things I've mentioned before that I keep in my travel bag. One of the most important EDC items that is TSA allowed is a little flashlight because uh, during Hurricane Harvey and a few other incidents, uh, power goes out. And now you're in an airport with a bunch of folks you don't know in a strange building in the dark, especially if it's a late night flight. It's still dark outside for me. So if you have kids, make sure you got some snacks. Uh, they will allow you a small snack size stuff. Uh, they've changed the rules back and forth about how much liquid you can have. I know the small bottles are good. You're usually better off just going through security and buying shit on the other side. Um, but yeah, other than that, I like to wear comfortable clothes. I always wear sneakers, and that's a pain in the ass to go through security. But if there's any kind of emergency, a terrorist, a fire, you know, whatever, I can move. You have no idea how much footage I've seen where there's been an incident and people fell on their ass because their shoes came off. So, um, and also you don't want to walk barefoot on that nasty floor because your flip-flop fell off. Anyway, a few pointers for when you're out traveling. You guys be safe. For those of you traveling, Godspeed. I'll see you later on.